Now, beloved within God's last day church, beloved God's last day church, this is her urgent, urgent message. Her urgent, urgent message called the Sons of the Law President Part 1 and the repeal the Johnson Amendment. They repealed the Johnson Amendment. And um, the church control of the state. Now, here recently, um, Donald Trump told a crowd of listeners after he got convicted of 34 counts of crime um, up in the New York court that if he became president again in 2024 after being put out of office in 2020 um, that he would give churches churches more rights to express their views on who could become president he would allow them to stand in the pulpit and tell people who to vote for and um, he would have an advisory committee um, an advisory committee to each region of the of the U.S. Air and North American Division to decide how churches should be run, connected with the state. And um, you said they forced prayers in schools, but it was very hard because certain schools did not want prayer. The for, for, prayer was forced. Do what he do the way he did when he was in office before 2020. From 2016, and beloved, that that's what that's what he wants to do, and um, he's even stated that um, he wants to give churches more rights to um, actually force state constitutional constitution um, branches of government, like the legislative branch, to make laws to enforce. Things like enforcing Sunday observance, beloved, in the Adventist, in, in, in last God's last day church, or the Adventist, or any other church that is a Sabbath evening assembly. And, um, beloved, this must not be done. This must not be done. But that's what time it is now, beloved. That's the time it is now. And, uh, that's the time it is now, too. And, um,. The seven of the church must not think to be the only church being uh, sectioned off because of this. No, other churches like the Seventh Day Baptists and the Seventh Day Pentecostals and the Jews, they're also being bullied for their faith in the, in the Sabbath truth as well for their faith on that issue. But in the U.S. Co country and other countries, and his, his these laws, beloved, actually mirror the image of the beast. Well, the first beast of Revelation 13, the Catholic Church. And, and, and America is a lamb like beast that will pass laws to enforce laws to, according to Revelation 13, 1 to 7, or 1 to 11, um, to um, bring on, 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 on the mark of the beast and enforce, beast, uh, enforce image of the beast worship, beloved. We're in the Christian church, and um, that's the time it is. Then we find out that a, a, a certain a certain work employment agency said they want to set up a system where every single person gets a day off on Sunday to get um, time off from work. And what they plan to do is take hours off of people's schedules um, so they can be able to did Sundays off, which is, as they call the Sabbath rest for Christians, the Christian Sabbath rest. Notice they call, notice they call the Christian Sabbath rest. Not, and they call the Seventh-day Sabbath the Jewish Sabbath rest, and Sundays the Christian Sabbath rest. But they call some of the Judeo-Christian Sabbath rest. And, uh, and, they, and they said right now, Seventh-day Adventists can have their time off on Saturday. Sunset Friday is on Saturday. What they want to do, they want to ease yourself in to get, get the system to back doors so they can start enforcing Sunday observance. And then one day, um, taking away Sabbath rest from Seventh day Adventist Christians now. When we deal with the abortion issue, beloved, within um, the uh, Seventh day Adventist Church and other Jew, and other seven, uh, Sabbath, Sabbath keeping for sex, like the Seventh day Baptists and Seventh day Pentecostals, beloved. Um, we must actually, even though we know abortion is actually 
an immoral issue because it murders children, but we must allow the woman to do it because it protects religious liberty. It gives freedom to um, Sabbath keeping sex like Seventh day Adventists and other Sabbath keeping sex like the Seventh day Baptists and Seventh day Pentecostals to keep the Sabbath holy. Sunset Friday, Sunset Saturday, God's true Sabbath. Um, and so we can have side privileges and not lose our right to be spiritual on God's holy day. If God blessed the day, he sanctifies the day, and we should not fight against God's system, even though we have one issue that definitely is immoral. And I disagree with any seven day Christian, me being seven day beloved, who disagrees with me on that. I say, no, fight for the lady who wants to allow abortion in her body because it protects my Sabbath privileges. And and, and Trump recently said that um, with his Christian nationalist group that the Constitution is pestilential, basically. Why have a Constitution? He wants to ban the words in the in the uh, Constitution that states Congress should make no law respecting religion or the free exercise thereof, which is the Establishment Clause, beloved, within the Christian Church. That's what he wants to do. He wants to ban that part portion of the, all the Establishment Clause, beloved, in the Christian Church. And, you know, should we do that? No, we should not be doing that because that gives religious liberty to American citizens of all, of all things. And also, it gives religious liberty to other, of other our religions as well, like the Muslims and the, and the, uh, and the, and, and, and Taoists and Buddhists. It gives, it gives, us, it, gives, it, gives it makes America great again. So we, when we, when we ban our constitutional privileges and start enforcing religion, that doesn't make America great again. That makes, that, that, that actually dem- demolishes America. So I disagree with Trump on that, saying he wants to ban that portion of the Constitution or the First Amendment that gives the separate church and state. And um, also, when it says that, uh, we can actually have we peacefully assemble, and, and and have uh, and have federations for redress against grievances in our constitution. He wants to ban that as well, Trump. He says it's pestilential, beloved. So, is it pestilential to have freedom of speech and freedom of the press and freedom to peacefully assemble? No, I think not. I, I tell not. So, I disagree with Mr. Trump on that, and so. I'm not against Trump as an individual. I think he's a, an individual that God loves, but I disagree with him if he wants to take away my freedom as a seven day Adventist Christian in America to, to have peacefully assembled at church on the seven day Sabbath and um, <laughs> to talk about God's Ten Commandment laws and, and principles, find his word. And so he's entitled to his views, but still, I don't think he should try to force his views upon me. As a Seventh Day Adventist Christian, or want anybody that goes against their religious liberty going to our formal constitutional rights, I think we should be making more amendments in our constitution and protect more freedoms in our constitution for our patients and our country and, and, and American citizens overall. And if you think Biden is, is more of a fr- friend of Seventh Day Adventist Christians than Trump is, you're, you're headed for a mistake. He's a he's a Catholic. Supported by a Jesuit, this why it says the papists will. Um, this why it says papists will um, lead the way in persecuting um, Sabbath keeping Christians in the last days, and evangelicals like Trump, or possibly Protestants like Trump, will uh, support the evangel- support the Catholics are in, in persecuting, um, a pot- supporting persecuting true Protestants like. Like Seven Day Christians, other Protestants like Seven Day Baptists, and if you think that he's more well, friend, think not again about it. And um, in fact, he's an ecumenical Catholic. You know, Joe Biden is an ecumenical Catholic, beloved, within, within the Christian Church, and he will persecute those who are faithful to God. In his ass says, if he stays in office, whether but maybe a slower process, but he, he he's no more no more no more friend. No, Sabbath keeping Christians than than Trump is. Trump just comes in with a different way, different angle at the way of it. And uh you see 
what uh, Biden is doing with this uh, with this um, Laudato C and the, the, the Pope is pushing, which is law for the environment. So no, don't think that either one, totally D, totally dumb, is, 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 is like totally D, totally dumb. Those are ways of getting at the Senate law. So don't think that he's more a friend. So to me, it's not an issue of me supporting one president or the other, me political supporting Republican or Democrat. No, it's an issue of what does the Bible say? What does prophecy say? And so, um, so whether Biden stays in or, or Trump gets back in, the sons of God will be passed, beloved. And so we just be mindful of the time it is right now. And, and just like the minister said on uh, this, is what, this is the channel I'm watching now, David Gates' channel, you know, Everlasting, Everlasting Gospel Ministries, he said, there's no more time for time charts. He said, the son of law is here right now. He said, don't, so whoever accuses their brother of time setting is wrong. The sons of the right now, whoever says that. I totally agree with him, sons of the right now. And it could be with you within six months on the Trump administration. It could be here by the end of this new election. If Biden man's office or some other president gets into like Kamala Harris. So we're in that time right now, beloved. Just pray for discernment. Pray for pray for faithfulness. Pray that we can do the work. Get a loud cry. Finish the work and stand faithful, even under much persecution. Now, when I go into this persecution phase, they're willing. I'm going through much pain because I'm on dialysis two times a week. Um, I have other ailments. I'm on medications. It's very painful for me. Pray for me, beloved, that I would stand faithful to God in the midst of sickness and pain and sorrow. But like the song goes, Amazing Grace shall always be my song of praise. For it was grace. That bought my liberty. I do not know just how you came to love me so. You looked beyond my faults and saw my needs. I will forever look to thee for Calvary. For it was grace that Jesus died for me. I do not know just how you came to love me so. You looked beyond my faults and saw my needs. Renata family, God bless you. Happy Pentecost, and now it's Pentecost. Happy Pentecost.